fibroids and polyps uh, grows from certain cells in the uterus. They are generally non cancerous and only cause uh, can be cancerous in about one in 400 cases. We do not know causes of uh, fibroids and polyps, but we do know that they are more common in black women, in obese women, and women who eat a lot of red meat and processed meat. And genetics also plays roles, and they are more common in, if the mother or the sister has them. The fibroids are detected with examination, you can feel enlarged uterus, and pelvic ultrasound, or at times we need to perform other imaging such as CT or MRI scan, which is not commonly needed. We can also assess fibroids with a test or procedure called the hysteroscopy, where we use camera to look inside of the uterine cavity. The treatment of fibroids and polyps would depend on the woman's age, the symptoms that she is experiencing, the size of the fibroids. The symptoms that fibroids and polyps cause include abnormal uterine bleeding, such as bleeding in between the menstrual periods, heavy menstruation, bleeding in menopause. They can cause pain or pressure in the lower abdomen. They can even cause pain or pressure when passing urine when fibroids are located uh, in the front wall of the uterus and press on the bladder. There could be pain during sexual intercourse. Most fibroids are actually asymptomatic. Polyps quite often cause bleeding during or after sexual intercourse or heavy menstrual bleeding or bleeding between the periods. To treat fibroids and polyps, we would start in with detecting them and establishing their size and what symptoms they cause. Small fibroids in menopausal women do not require any treatment if they don't cause any symptoms. Large fibroids in women of reproductive age will possibly need to be removed. If women desires to have a baby, then we would just remove a fibroid. If she has completed her family, then we would remove the uterus and fibroid. Fibroids that are located inside of uterine cavity, submucous fibroids and polyps can be removed through the hysteroscopic procedure without any cuts and the procedure is performed vaginally.